Hello, my name is Kathleen Lisson. I'm a board certified massage therapist. I practice in San Diego, California, and my area of expertise is a type of massage called manual lymphatic drainage. And this type of massage helps to reduce edema, reduce swelling after surgery, including plastic surgery. So today I am going to talk about one of the type of clients that I work on, and that is clients uh, after a facelift who are helping to reduce their edema and swelling in, in the face and the neck and the upper torso area. And I have two, rep uh, two studies I'd like to share with you, and I will put their links underneath the video. The first one is uh, titled Facelift and Patterns of Lymphatic Drainage. This is from the 2012 um, Aesthetic Surgery Journal. And the authors are physicians. They are, um, Dr. Mead is in private practice in Dallas, Texas, the lead author. And there are also um, other authors are assistant professor and professor emeritus at the University of Te Texas Southwestern Medical Center in Dallas and a faculty member of Baylor University Medical Center in Dallas. Um, and this study actually received the Tiffany Award from the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery in 2007. So this study um, builds on an earlier study, which I will share with you in a few minutes. And it um, takes three clients and gives them um, three different types of facelifts and then studies uh, via a procedure called lymphocentigraphy. It studies their lymphatic pathways and how the lymphatic pathways in the face um, are changed as a result of this operation. And this is very important for um, people who would do manual lymphatic drainage like I am trained in to help with the edema and swelling because the typical procedures that are taught maybe in an introductory class on manual lymphatic drainage will not work um, in the case of an operation like this. They need to be um, altered in to, um, to effectively reduce the swelling in an area where some of the um, lymphatic areas, some of the lymph nodes are unavailable because of the recent surgery. So this study is, it's well worth your time to read it. It's a wonderful read um, and it gives a lot of information about the lymphatic system. And um, very interestingly, it shows pictures of how the, the study, the research that they did shows that the lymphatic, the lymph nodes are impacted as a result of um, facelift surgery. And this is valuable information for um, someone like me that is doing the manual lymphatic drainage because then um, armed with this information, I know how to change the usual type of massage I would give to more effectively reduce the edema and direct the swelling towards the lymph nodes that are still working in the face and the head area. So their conclusions, um, they, their results of this study was that all the techniques, um, all their different techniques, appeared to t all temporarily create a significant and similar degree of interruption in lymphatic drainage. So that's why you see such swelling after the facelift procedure, because there's an interruption in the lymphatic drainage. There was a subtotal recovery of lymphatic pathways within three months after the surgery and a complete return to baseline drainage pattern. So all their lymph nodes and the whole um, area of, of lymphatic, the whole lymphatics was working after six months regardless of the surgical technique. So that's why you'll see the great results um, in six months. You know, the edema should be totally gone. And, um, but before that, it's kind of like the rush is on. Um, there's two ways um, to do it. You, the facelift patient can um, wait it out and wait for their body to naturally um, drain all the edema and swelling, or they can enlist the services of a massage therapist such as myself with advanced training in manual lymphatic drainage. 
that knows how to help after facelift surgery in order to um, help the body direct the flow of the edema and the swelling to the lymph nodes that can accept it. And they may see, um, as the clients that I've seen, um, improvement that they can feel after every procedure and um, be able to look in the mirror and not only look great, which is what the plastic surgeon, that's a plastic surgeon's success, but feel great. I think feeling the feeling great part is the massage therapist success. Um, so the other study, which is, I think this is the, the, um, the original study that inspired a, lo a lot of other studies is from Aesthetic Plastic Surgery. It's uh, from 2002 and it's called, uh, the title is Facelift Post-Operative Recovery. It's by Aldo Matura. He's a doctor in Cordoba, Argentina. And um, this, this study, this doctor um, looked at the lymphatics in one of his facelift patients. And some of the, um, I think this is a wonderful study because the doctor really knows what the patient experience is and focuses on it in the study. Um, if I could quote, uh, he says, the worst moment for the patient is the post-operative recovery. Pain, swelling, and bruising are the main reason. Some persons are afraid of these consequences and prefer to avoid surgery. This is, it's, it just gets me in my heart because it's so unfortunate that um, someone would be scared of such a positive result that they could eventually have with plastic surgery, especially, you know, now in this day and age because of, you know, what would happen to them and how they would feel immediately after the procedure. And this is, I think, where a massage therapist who has the advanced training in manual lymphatic drainage can really help. They can really um, be somewhere that the patient can go to feel better. The procedure is, um, I, it's, it's not even a procedure, it's a beautiful spa-like treatment offered in the comfort of their own home. They don't have to go out or, you know, see strangers or go to a clinic. I can come to their own home and, um, you know, the, the massage itself is extremely relaxing. My clients regularly go to sleep on the table and just wake up relaxed and they feel better and the, the neck feels better and the face feels better. And I, I think they feel better about themselves. So, um, I would recommend also reading this study. It's um, very interesting and it has some wonderful pictures and he is very, the doctor is very specific about um, his findings and how that helps the manual lymphatic drainage therapist. Um, here's one of his pictures. Now, and this illustrates someone with a limited training in manual lymphatic drainage. This is um, what is taught in the books. This is how if there is no surgery, these are your pathways and these are your lymph nodes and how the normal drainage is. And then after the surgery, the pathways are different. Um, we have to go and push the edema into different um, lymph nodes in the face in order to um, make the biggest difference in, in um, edema. So both these studies are wonderful. I would highly recommend reading them. Um, if you're interested in the lymphatic pathways or if you're studying, um, you know, doing your research as a good consumer before getting a facelift, uh, maybe here in San Diego or maybe you live in San Diego and you're traveling, um, we have some of the most wonderful surgeons in the area and nearby, I think in the world. Um, to do your facelift for you. And so if you're considering doing uh, manual lymphatic drainage and um, being proactive and doing everything that you can in order to um, recover as quickly as you can, safely as you can, um, enable your body to become healthy again as soon as possible after the surgery, consider manual lymphatic drainage. Have a great day.